Yo, what up, Sag? This is your weekly lunar moon reading all about what's going to go down for you from this full moon phase in Leo transitioning into this waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra. So that's January 28th through February 3rd. Let's start with your tarot cards and see what spirit has to tell you about what's coming for you during this full moon phase. So we're going to start with that first card, what's going down for Sag during this full moon in Leo? Full moon in Leo, what's the energy going down? Spirit, wow, did you see the way that just jumped? <laughs> Woo, okay, so we have three of swords. Three of swords, what is the heartache? Are you guys really going through it this bad, Sag? Wow, something, there's a painful ending in your midst. You've been going through it. I am so sorry, my dear Sages. I don't know what that is about but that heart is just oh gut-wrenching something is something's heavy something is weighing on you heavy it could just be weighing on your mind doesn't necessarily have to be a literal heartache could be you just like not going after your passions there's like a bondaged up stitched up heart here so it could just be you holding yourself back but and not putting your ideas into execution doesn't have to be a literal heartache it could be a literal heartache but You've been going through it, and I feel like you're going to go through it for the next couple days, Sag. But hold on. Let's see what else we got from Spirit. All right, so what else is going down for our lovely Sages? For the waning gibbous in Virgo, that's a couple days later. Thank you. Ooh, so we have Seven of Swords in reverse. So at least you're coming... <laughs> Again, we have conflict energy with the Seven of Swords, cheating, deception, someone's lying. But at least you're coming out of this energy because this is in reverse. So we're coming out of this lying energy. I feel like whatever snake this is around you, whatever bad energy this is, it's you're getting away from it. You're coming out of it, which is good. Cut off that person. I feel like some of you needed to hear it. You know who that person is. Cut them off. What else is going down for Sag during the waning gibbous phase in Libra, the ending part of the week? February 3rd is 2nd to 3rd. Okay, so we're saying take it easy. We have the chariot in reverse. This is all about going for it. This is about just ambition energy, going after your passions, really going full throttle, drive energy. So in reverse, spirit's like, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. You've been... You've been going through it, dealing with this asshole around you, someone you've had to cut off. So spirits, like, after you cut that person off, give yourself a pat on the ass. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, I said pat on the ass. Because that's what I say. All right. So what moon energy is going down for Sedge this week for the full moon? Right here, shuffle once, cut twice. Okay, cutting twice spirit. All right. All right, full moon energy for Sag. What is it? What's the moon energy? Full moon in Leo. So that's yesterday, today. I think a little bit of tomorrow. Okay, the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. That could be you really feeling this energy, this heavy energy of this asshole, this person that did you wrong. Maybe this idea that you've been holding yourself back from, but... The energy is gaining momentum. So what else is going down during this waning gibbous phase for Sag in the next few days towards the end of the week, midweek, later week? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. This could also just be coming back to self-love. Doesn't mean like you're, <laughs> you're getting out of heartache and then immediately meeting someone. It can mean that. Spirit works in mysterious ways, but I feel like you're coming back into balance, harmony. Libra is all about the scales, so there's alignment of some sort. Coming back into your life, Sag. All right, so what else is going down for Sagittarius during this full moon phase and this waning gibbous phase? I hear shuffle once, cut three times. All right, so this is about a week period. What's going down for Sag during this full moon phase and waning gibbous phase? What's the energy coming to Sagittarius? Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. I'm telling you. Get this asshole out of your midst. Soul retrieval. And that's when I said a new romantic cycle. 
I think this romantic cycle is with yourself, Sag. Protection, call back your power, cut the cords. A lot about cutting energy in here too. Protecting yourself. It's a week of protection for you, Sag. All right, what else is going down for Sagittarius for the full moon phase through the waning gibbous phase? February, or I'm sorry, January 28th through February 3rd. What's energy, thank you. A burst of magic, you love to see it unfolding. Lotus flower, burst of magic. I'm noticing the purple in here too. Crown chakra, third eye chakra. Sagittarius energy for this lunar week. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Sag energy for this lunar week. Thank you, spirit. Another unfolding, shining through. You guys are taking it easy, taking a step back, just kind of letting spirit take the reins, but you're also, in doing that, I feel like you're shining through. You're unfolding and you're allowing, you're being. You're being in your divine feminine. Cut back your power, Sag. All right, what else is going down for Sagittarius for this moon phase? These two moon phases. I hear this shuffle. Sagittarius during these two moon phases. Mural, be your own first priority. This is all about coming back to yourself. There's a whole theme in here I've noticed in all of these readings about balance, alignment, coming back into, just into yourself, really. And I feel like that is what's going to give you the castle. Be your own first priority. Do whatever you got to do to raise your vibration. But someone got to go, Sag. Someone in your reality got to go. <laughs> That's very clear. All right. Shuffle twice, cut once, they said. So what is going down for Sagittarius during this full moon phase in Leo and this waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra? Okay, that one wanted to flip, so I'm going to take it. Love abounds, love it. And I love that it's the number one. It's like self-love. And again, we have this whole eye theme, which keeps coming out. Third eye, you're very protected. Spirit has its eye on you. Share the love. Love abounds, share the love. Wow, you can't even make this stuff up. Spirit's like, focus on you. Focus on your own self-love. Self-love, be your own first priority. Can't even make this up, Sag. All right. What else is going down for Sag? Final messages this week before we go into the love part of the reading. Wow, thank you. Okay. So we have wisdom and dormant aspects, which is interesting because dormant aspects, I think sleeping, which, by the way, pay attention to your dreams with so much purple, so much eye energy, like vision energy in here, and blue energy, I think, higher realms. Spirit's going to infiltrate your sleep in some way and give you some messages, especially with dormant. That makes me think of sleeping. There's someone literally sleeping on here, so pay attention to your dreams this week, Sag. Um, but I also think this is about letting the dormant aspects within you out of you, like your wisdom. You're a very, very, very smart person. Very intellectual person is what I'm getting. And you kind of need to let this part out of you a little bit. I feel like let the, like be the wise sage that you are because you are a wise sage, Sag. A wise sage, Sag. I can't believe I said that right. Crazy. That was the power of spirit. All right. What's going down for our single Sages? Single Sages, what's going down? I hear a shuffle three times, cut twice. Single Sages during this full moon phase and the waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra. What's going down? Ooh, sorry about that. This camera has a mind of its own. Okay. Single Sages. Single Sages. Full moon, waning gibbous. Healing and denial, detached with love to clearly see the truth. Healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And you know what, that's so interesting because healing definitely makes sense with that three of swords and seven of swords in reverse. And be your own first priority, share the love, love abounds. Definitely a lot about self-love, healing, denial. 
detached with love to clearly see the truth. I feel like this person, whoever hurt you, is gonna try to come back in. And spirits like, don't, don't let them. And maybe if this isn't about a person for you specifically, single Sag, this is about um, denying people that just want to come in who haven't healed. Maybe there's someone who has their eye on you, and I think there is, because these eyes keep staring. So I feel like someone has their eye on you, but spirits, like, you might want to deny them because they have not done the inner work. They have not done the healing. All right, spirit. They said shuffle three times. What else is going on for single Sag? Our single Sagittarius during this full moon phase and waning gibbous phase. That's Leo, Virgo, and Libra. What's going down for our single Sagittarius is Sagittarius's. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Okay. Had some answers. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And I think you are attracted to someone. Whether or not this is this person that hurts you, whether or not this is this person that's just trying to come in, there is an attraction, but I feel like spirits like that can't just be enough. You got to have self-love. That has to be the first and foremost attraction for you, single Sag and all Sages. All right. For our Sages in relationships, I'm going to shuffle twice. Cut once is what I hear. Let us know what's going to go down during this full moon phase and waning gibbous phase. All right. Pull from the top, they said. Okay. Ooh, another one came out. So we got addiction. And addiction is affecting this relationship and unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. Interesting. That really tells a story. Again, this makes me think of self-love. Someone is not here for you. They're either too focused on themselves. They have their own addictive shit going on. Maybe they're... <laughs> Maybe it's their ego they're addicted to. They're addicted to, to themselves, which is a lesson in and of itself. Love yourself. People hate when you give them the energy back, right? So, okay, what else is going on for our Sages in relationships? But either way, yeah, it's time to take a step back, no matter if you're in a relationship or not, Sag. Love yourself first. I can't even make this up. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love abound, share the, share the love. Mural, be your own first priority. Love yourself first. Oh my gosh. This reading is definitely speaking. So much going on in your dream, Sag. A lot is still unfolding. You're going to have a lot of magic this week, but this is getting out of this negative energy for this lunar, these two lunar phases. It's getting out of negative energy for the full moon and then kind of just taking it easy for the waning gibbous. And it's all about release during this aspect of the moon anyway. So definitely time to get your sleep on and pay attention to the messages, but you are definitely divinely guided. So if this resonated, like it, give it a thumbs up, please. And I'll see you in the next lunar reading.